Oh, hi. Welcome back to 24 to Hit. Sorry about last week. We just had a scheduling conflict. It happens. But we're back, ready to go. And we're going to get stuck right back into it. Uh, last we left off, you and your crew went out shopping, gathering supplies, buying musical instruments and um, a parrot for uh, your, your journey uh, over to the New World. Because I am not inventive and I can't make up a lot of names. Um, you are uh, hired oh, Captain Kale with the Kraken's Fury to uh, guide you on your way. You packed everything up on the ship and set sail. The first couple of days of, of the trip were quite uneventful until someone rolled pretty shitly. And... <laughs> And uh, a, a young kraken pressed its chances in attacking the boat. A um, few people got flung into the water. One of the crew members got killed. But um, after a pretty good battle, uh, Yagna got eaten and exploded out of it like um, the alien from, well, alien. Bah, full, full wolf covered in blood. Great. Love it. Okay. And that's where we left off. So coming straight back in, uh, I think you guys carved up a bit of the calamari. You have a bit of bit of food. Captain's not pleased he's already lost a crew member. He comes up and he's like, I've been sailing these seas and I've not lost to one person, but then you and your crew come along and uh, suddenly people start fucking dying. I thought you had your uh, guarantee to keep my me and my friend safe, no? Yeah, well, you could have lost everybody else. You also uh, didn't mention there would be a kraken. There is going to be good. different uh, dangers, of course. But uh, I'm <laughs> at the whims of nature here as well, no? There are all kinds of things out there that wish to eat us, kill us, uh, steal from us. And you're uh, wanting to sail straight into a uh, uh, pirate terrier and uh, uh, do who knows what. Are we expecting to take these pirates on head on or uh, uh, are you going to take the sneaky approach? What is the plan here, no? Do I expect a ship-on-ship -ship battle? I should always be prepared for um, battles at sea. Um, you know, the nature of pirates are, you know, not much honor among thieves. So, best to be prepared. Hey Kyle, could I technically repair bits of the ship because I have mending? Yes, you could. Wait, I'll mention that. <laughs> Okay, and he's like, well, that is good. Uh, we do have a, uh, a carpenter on board that usually patches it up with spare wood and nails, but hey, if you can magically you not know, plug a hole, it works for me. Sweet. These uh, pirates, they, they seem the pirate kind. I did say before they did approach me to do it. It sounded pretty lucrative. Just say, maybe you can use that approach to uh, not, uh, how you say, uh, take the bull by the horns, yeah? But hey, you're the ones paying, you're the ones in charge. I just do not want to die. <laughs> I nearly <laughs> did before, that sucked. Don't let that happen. But you didn't. I did not. Got pretty close. <laughs> One of my men did. That sucks. Have you ever fought a Kraken? Of course! The ship's name's the Kraken's Fury! Of course. No! No, I have not! Well, then you never know how many people you could have lost. Oh, uh, well, hold up. Yagnar so comes we behind here. him hmm. and pats him on the back and goes, Next time, we'll see how you go with the fight. And then, yeah, we'll <laughs> Great! 
So the people that uh, uh, are here to protect the sheep and me do my job, uh, yeah, they're not trying to uh, protect me. I'm sorry, I'm just a bit, you know, uh, scared for my life. Yes? That's, that's fair, well, no? Malazar, Malazar yeah. walked up to him. It's okay, I can still make use of you once you've gone. That is ominous. I, I, I... <laughs> Yagna just bellows with a laughter. <laughs> I understand. Uh, uh, can you please refrain from right. doing that kind of thing? I saw the, the spitter thing you summoned out of your asshole. Um, that... Oh, that's what that is on the thing. Yeah, that, uh, <laughs> yeah. Not... That I'm funny. just going to say to Malza, please don't zombify. You just hear a cream and it's like, I've heard ghost stories about that. It could be a bit cool. It would, but it also not. <laughs> it's just, you're just, you're just mopping the deck. Just like, I'm just saying, full, full shit Negative skeletons. Sounds, sounds cool Look, as hell. <laughs> our goal is to go to this pirate camp and I will do what we need to, to get there. And if that means skeletons, then that means skeletons. <laughs> the rest of the crew look shocked. This one guy's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good. All right. So. Is he like the one goth on the boat? Uh, no, you see, he's, he's just, uh, just a simple guy swabbing the Sorry, deck. I didn't mean to cut you off then. No, he just likes skeletons. He just, he just thinks it's cool. <laughs> he heard that one story about a black pearl and then he's like, oh, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> All right. So, next few days of travel. Um, could I get... Do a long rest. Oh, yes, everyone take a long rest, if you haven't already. <laughs> oh, man. There we go. All right, could I get everyone... Uh, just so I don't have to go day to day to day to day. Because it's taken, I think you've been out here about a week and a bit. <laughs> Say another couple of days go past with no thing. Uh, everyone here, make a d20 roll. See if you run into any more danger on the high seas. Is that technically like a saving throw? Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what did you get? Dan, what the fuck, man? No, no, no. Dan. Uh, it's me. I got a Tyson one. Yours didn't come. Oh, you got Tyson. a one. Tyson. Yep. Didn't you do that before? Four as well. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that, I'm the one <laughs> that we got the crack in. Uh, he's Tyson oh. and he's Dan. here. Look at the crack in. Hat on. Playing the accordion. Just shit Have happening. Have a jolly time. All, right. <laughs> All right. Roll me. Roll me a d6. Don't do it. Two. Two? Yeah. Oh, am I still going to play Barry as well? With oh, of the course. character sheet? Yeah, you Just can. in battles. You can. Tyson, you can do a man's part of that. All right. Tyson. Mm. Yeah, no. Again, you're sitting up the front of the boat. It's a lovely afternoon. You've just been sailing. You, your, your sea legs have come to you after near two weeks at sea. It feels strange being cooped up in the one the one space with the rest of your friends. It it's it's good. You've been able to talk to a few people a bit more, you know, get closer to these people you've been travelling with instead of, you know, just walking along. You know, when they can't escape you when you're showing them the pictures the kids have sent you. Um and you you squint off in the distance and you swear there's about four mountains. Just coming over the horizon. You have no frame of reference for it, but as you get closer, you notice it's like ah, oh, ships, ships like us. Oh, and closer, four of them. And you notice the top, on the top, the sails, all black. And they seem to be I... making a beeline towards you. <laughs> okay, I guess I... So where am I on the ship? Just I'd say you're at the front of the ship. Okay. 
I am just gonna just stand up silently and just yell out ship, I guess. I have no else to say but yeah. Just oh, ship. Ship. <laughs> I'm and point. The other, the other crew members, they come up and they look. And Actually, let's do the reference thing where I point and just do that big bellow scream. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, you see Captain Kale look out and he's like, oh, shit. I did say, friends, this is their territory. Four ships, a bit too much to take on in our current state. But we hoist the colors. We might get out of this safely. Oh, this is going to cast wind wall. He looks at you. Hey, if you want to start a fight, um, you're, you're more That's than welcome. That's the backup guys. If we can get out of this without fighting, that would be the be the best option. What do we need to do? Just change the colors of the sails. Uh, so raise the color means raise raise our flag. Um, uh -huh. I am known. And they pull out what seems to be um, a smiling, like, blue head with horns on a flag as he raises that up. And you see the other ships, they, they start to get closer into view. They are big ships, um, two deckers, all lined with guns, um, visible visible um, damage um, shown to like them and repaired. Yeah. Like the really fucked ones in Black Flag? Yeah. The chase around? Yeah, cool. I'm writing yeah. that in the notes, so just for pointer. Um, none of you are sailors at all. And so Studying these... a bit of boating stuff? All right, so you would notice that um, <laughs> over distances, <laughs> ships communicate with different flags. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, YMC. Um and you, I'd say, looking through a scope on your gun or through a looking glass, can see that um, both this ship and those ship are communicating with different symbols. Um, the four ships go out wide, or oh, two go out wide, and two come up alongside your ship. They're like kind of encircling you. And as they get closer, you can see, uh, as again, just lines and lines of cannons and the big black flags with different different symbols on them, some with cutlasses, another with an arrow through a heart, another one with, like, crossbones. And they, they come up along your ship. Um, and you slow down, they slow down, and they match you. And uh, you can see it seems to be um, a few of these crew members just standing up alongside the sides, looking at your ship. When a very, I'd say, fancy dressed looking man stands mm -hmm. on the edge and he bellows back, is that, uh, uh, state your business? Are any of you going to reply? You're going to let the captain go. It's up to you. I'll probably let him go. He's dealt with this before, probably. His ship, right? They know him. Mm -hmm. You're all free to speak, though. Before you know, I just sit here role playing with myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be responsible for once. It's all good. Captain Kyle swings back and says, like, ah, Hello, friends. Uh, this is Captain Kyle at the Kraken's Fury. Uh, we have uh, come to uh, uh, acknowledge and accept your offer of invitation. And you see the uh, other crew members on the other ships. They start talking to each other and they're like, Very well. Shall we escort you? And he's like, looks to you guys. He's like, what do you want to do? Have you been ex escorted before? Oh, no, no, they, they want... They obviously want to escort us to the, the, wherever they're fucking living, and uh, I, I don't they're know. What... about it. I mean, that's the easiest way in, right? Should we pretend that we're here to barter and trade? You, know, you lot. Do you want to go? Do you want to uh, me to say I'm carrying you guys as t traders? 
Whatever makes us less suspicious. Do we go with them, or do you want to go with them, or do you I want th- to keep going ahead? Um, well, I, I say I, we go with them. But yes, that would make the journey safer and uh, uh, more expedient. Uh, my friends, uh, my employers are um, eager to come with. You see, murmuring throughout the the crew, and say. What do you mean, employers? It's like, ah, oh, shit. Um, I've been hired by traders to uh, escort them to the new world. I was originally going to, um, after I finished with their dealings, uh, come and uh, seek you out. Is that good enough? Not bad. Okay. Okay. See I'll just give him like a little thumbs up. <laughs> You lock eyes with like what seems to be like a like thirteen year old boy, just on the other ship, and he's just like. <laughs> <laughs> right, bring them as well. Yes. Stay close. Don't move out of formation. We'll have one or two come board you, and guide you. <laughs> sure thing. Shit. Unnecessary. Um, two guys swing over. Yeah, just use rope, swing over, land on the deck. Um, they're very um tall, straight-backed men, human. Um, their hair all matted and um unkept from you know living on a boat for God knows how long. Um, their uniform is a patchwork of things they may have found or like sewn together um by their by their waists pistols maybe four or five of them uh for you guys this isn't any different from you seeing what dead eye has or in the beginning before he got a um unreloadable <laughs> magic gun uh, yeah <laughs> obviously because all of them are one shot um they they walk with a purpose. Um, they don't seem too outward um, outwardly confrontational with you guys. They pay you no heed. They just walk straight to the captain. Is it, you see them converse and point and uh, show like um, maps and headings and help the captain move along. You hear a um, yell back from the boats. It's about a three-day journey from here on an island. I trust there won't be any trouble from you and your uh, friends. And the captain's like, no, 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 definitely not. As he gives you all, like, the eye of, like, "Mm." of course not. Very well. I'll just give him a little thumbs up. (laughs) Uh, can I get can I get my um, the parrot that I got the other day to just say no trouble, no trouble at all, back in his yeah. own voice? Yeah, <laughs> straight. No trouble, that. no trouble at all. <laughs> you get some eyes from the 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 pirates on the, on the ship just looking at you, and um, the, yeah, these ships flank you for the next couple of days. Um. Thanks, Yagna. Are they um so over the next like over the thing to just uh when it starts to get dark because mm. are they all very, are they, if they're flanking they're all quite close. Yeah, they're, they're within maybe what 100 200 meters on each side. Two more ship, uh, one ship out the back, one ship out the front. They kind of like surround you and like across. Yeah, and they. So too too far away to like swing or anything like that currently. Currently, yes. Um, they would okay. have to get in closer. Like when they were yelling across and conversing, they are only maybe what thirty meters away from each side of the ship. You know, nice and close. Um, is there anything in this next three days you'd like to do? It's up to you guys. You can tell me you can keep an eye you can keep yourself lay low you can even try to talk to people it's all up to you 
Have I learned everything that I could from those books? Uh, have you? Are there any more spells you wish to try to learn? Nautical themed? Something you wish? Oh, shit. I haven't had a look. Can we circle um, back? Yeah, of course. You have a look, and we'll see what the other guys want to do. I was trying to Google something, but I think I might be on a list now. <laughs> <laughs> I put D&D at the end. Okay. Well, what were you trying to look up? Because that's going to be hilarious. <laughs> um, if I could make any sort of explosives with seawater. Yeah. Sodium. Sodium. Chloride? Hydroxide. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. It's alright. I think it's a bit of a long shot at the moment. But appreciate the effort. Yeah, no, if you can. Oh, please tell the FBI that when they get me. FBI, in game, in game. Mm -hmm. Artificers causing the downfall of society since forever. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, anyone uh, want to do anything? If the yeah. if there's any of the um like the guys that the, the guys that they sent over a thing, do they do like a guard changeover, or is it always just the same two guys that come over originally? I'd say they'd have to, yeah. Like, well, when when I mean changeover, they send two guys. One will be constantly with this with the captain or piloting the mm -hmm. ship and the, or yeah. the navigator, while the other one rests and keeps an eye on the rest of the crew to make sure nothing, no silly bugs are happening. I was just say probably on the first night or something, um, you know, when when all rations and stuff are being poured out. I was just yep. uh, going to give him some nice of our quality rum and just uh, start, you know, just being a general crewman, not really introducing myself, but I'll come up to him and I'll say, uh, well met, my friends. Um, my name is Damon. Uh, and I'm just essentially going to be... Ha trying to build a bit of friendship with them, have general conversation um, and see if we, see if I can get any further information about where we're going, where right. we are. <laughs> yeah, I'll the... also put in that yep. we are going to do the axe. We'll get chummy with him in his own way. All right. You guys can have advantage on any, um, any checks then if you're working together. Um, so yeah, these mm -hmm. two men, um, they're quite, quite tall fellows. Um, uh, very well built. As I said, their clothes are very patchwork. Um, one um, man, full bald head, um, clean shaven, um, nice and sunburnt from being out in the sun um, for so long. Um, and, and the pistols are on his waist. Um, very well made. Like, very well made. Especially you notice. Um, did I? Do not steal them. <laughs> I'm not going to. Just roll me a history check real quick then. S with your your knowledge, just see. Normal or just like just, a straight just a, normal just a, flat, or just a flat history check. Just to see. <laughs> Natural one. Natural one. <laughs> yeah, they're very nice they're very nice pistols. Oh, good. What's the yeah. walls? <laughs> Jeez. Uh, no, I, I'll be talking to him. I'll just have a thing. I'll, with the natural one, I won't have any idea of what's going on, but I'll, I'll bring it up and I'll point out that they look very well made. Um, so um, I'll start showing them my gun. I'm actually going to ask if um, if they're gambling. Are you gambling, are you gambling men at all? They look Fancy at each other. Like, funnily enough, not really. We take this job quite seriously. Well, as they were doing it, I would have been rolling some dice up and down my fingers and doing a little juggling act, and then I'm like, oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they, um, they, um, uh, not, not really. Uh, uh, the part, the part king has uh, for, forbade all uh, games of chance. Games of chance. Yeah. <laughs> he says it, uh, king, you say. Yeah, he says it uh, encourages uh, a bad look. Respectful, but uh, you know, a man who relies relies on chance for a living, uh, you know, chance ships, chance positioning, chance thing on his own does seem a little bit counterintuitive. But uh, I'm sure if he's been elected king, he would mustn't he must know best, right? Elected? No, he deposed the last one. You know. Deposed. Indeed. Like and they look at each other <laughs> and, and laugh and say. Do you not know the rules? 
for the the king of the seas. Do you not hear that? Uh, yeah, I listen intently. Uh, I'll say no. I'm uh, new to shipcraft and traveling. Um, Anyone, being a bit of an adventurer. Anyone can challenge. Anyone. One on one combat is the last pirate king. He was uh, one of those sort that would just go out and shoot you just for looking at you, you know? Mm-hmm. Horatio, though. He's what you'd call noble. Maybe. Looks after his men. Looks after us. Me and uh, old mate here, we're part of the last lot. Fight for scraps. Fighting for uh, our lives. Only getting what uh, the last one will let, you know, trickle economics down to us. Not fun. Horatio, he's got a different idea, doesn't he? He's raiding lucrative ships. He ships carrying this weird magic powder back from the the new lands. Is it just gunpowder? No, 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 we know what gunpowder. This shit's green. I've never seen anything like it. Green. Green, anything green in magic is bad news, honestly. I'm not saying that in character, I'm, I'm just complaining. And this is not a character, but this I is do. the stuff they get from that, the ancient, what we're, we're talking about is like old lands and all that stuff too. From from the... Uh, Can I do a history check to see what he's talking about? Uh, if I know what he's talking about. Arcana. Can I do a history check? Oh, you can definitely do a history check. So I feel like I would know history. Oh, all right, I'll do Arcana. You do history. Uh, uh, nah. Uh, let's go. Let's so, go twenty-five. Twenty-five. Um, yeah. And I'm sixteen. I'm just adding five to it. A green powder, mined from from thing, weird magical powder. That's residual. Remember the cannonball? I knew it. You know what? I don't know what he's after it for. But he's stopping it coming back to the mainland. Says it's worth a fortune. The men he brought with him don't seem too interested in, in riches or, or wealth. Just this stuff. He's also told us not to harm people, which is a bit, as you said, counterintuitive. But still, seems to work. A bit of scare tactics. <laughs> We're getting more people come join by the day, like this ship. Old Captain Kale, his reputation precedes him as a, a good navigator, as a fast sailor. Not as a combatant, though. But we can use that. Catching down ships, use scare tactics. It's been quite, quite lucrative. You, and, you're uh, saying you're taking new members, or are you always. forcing? We used to force. Now it's voluntarily. Seems to be working quite well. And we, I'm sure if you are, you know, rubbing and uh, you know, privateering to any, um, you know, richer vessels, that you may have made some more powerful enemies how do you uh, what type of measures are in place to make sure that anyone who joins isn't untrustworthy always vetted by a king himself taken before him like you lot will be if you don't ah. seem uh, <laughs> trustworthy or or uh, on the level you'll know He's got that, that eye for it, really. So he's got a bunk eye, or...? No. Just, he can see, in see things. Things and people. Not a bunk eye like this prick. And someone goes, how did that happen anyway? The other guy goes, did you fall over on a fork or something? I know a bloke that did that once. Might have got pushed, might have not. <laughs> As he looks at you, don't I? Uh, um, 
I... I'll tell him part of the tale, but not much. I said it was uh, early, early things of, um, you know, an explosion caused by one of these, and I'll just hold up my gun. So you know, I'll, t- I'll tell him, but I won't tell him the full story. He's looking at it, and he's like, So, were you part of the army then? Uh, more of a... When, when I was when I was younger, I, I'll just say you know, was part of a bit of riffraff, and you know a little bit of a gang. Um, you know, you know not, nothing too major. A little bit, uh, you know, take from the rich, give to me um, scenario, much like what you would do, but on land. Now you look at each other, and the one, the, the one that's been speaking the most, he looks at you as wanderer. I look dark and I'll go, yeah. <laughs> he gives you this eye, like, an eye disdain. Looking at you. Uh, insight check? Go for it. Sixteen. I'll send you something. Right. Beautiful. All right. Anyone else asking anything? No, I don't really want to clue on to the um me knowing about the residuum. Okay. Just yet. Me either. I just like look at Mozart and I'll be like, what? <laughs> I'll say this Yagno wants to find out more about the, the island and the place around it all. You know, if, Doing the dad thing, finding out information before we get there. Oh yeah, that's it. I'm just gonna find Jacob <laughs> in uh, Discord. Oh. Yeah, man. All um, of his username for everything are just his name, and it makes me so uncomfortable. It's always all lowercase too. <laughs> All right. Um, we're still sailing, yeah. Yep. There you go. Check. Um, if anybody else wants to do anything, that's cool. Because I want to do something on like our last night. Yep. Before the main day. Go for it. What would you like to do? Just say, yeah, we're getting close to Sanctuary now. Um, cool. Uh, I would like to perform a, my spirit session, which is a seance, basically. Oh, okay, uh, if I have any willing participants that would like to sit down with me and summon some shit real quick. Yeah, that comes, joins. I'm definitely yeah, keen for this. Yeah, if you need me, sure. <laughs> Hold it. Oh, that's two. Can I convince Solana join us? a sec i'm just doing something but yeah you go ahead with your spirit seance um cool i was hoping for three so give me a second and i'll just get barry to join us does barry count yeah barry can count can i use barry oh <laughs> sick um so i pretty much just you know take a bunch of shit out of my jacket and bones and teeth and things of animals and people and stuff just random shit that i've got lying around um and the spirits start to come up and uh it actually allows me to learn a spell from divination or necromancy 
yeah. uh, until the spell ends, or I think until the next long rest. That's dope. So you're doing this um, just before, like the night before um, you hit where you're going, yeah? Yes, just okay. in case. Um, and it's only with uh, the amount of willing participants, so I am the three of us. I'm going to learn Spirit Shroud. All right, go for it. Pop that in there, and yeah, I think that's all I need. I think that's Heaven. all I need to do. So I'll say you do that the morning of the arrival to your destination. Oh, yep. So midday this day, you um, you start to see a small island come into view on the horizon. Around this island, you can see about 20 different ships all docked. As you get closer, one of the ships you have seen seems to be parts of one that have been like smashed up and um, fastened together to make a makeshift platform in the middle, just off the side of this island. You see lots of little dinghies coming to and fro this main main far, uh, main area. Um, as you guys come in, the boats will usher you into a sheltered little bay on this island. And they then motion you to take the boats to the main area. Mm -hmm. So everyone's cool with jumping in the dinghies and rowing over Captain Kale yeah, comes with you he leaves the rest of his crew on the ship as he uh, follows you wait does that mean Barry's going to be able to fit on the dinghy Barry yeah Barry can fit on the dinghy yeah. like on a bunch of dinghies I'll just say he's on okay. a few of them <laughs> <laughs> ropes together Excellent. The thought was like, just to be, it was me and um, Barry on a dinghy just rowing together. <laughs> um, you get ushered into the air. Yeah, what now is bits of uh, of ship now arranged to make a makeshift fort on a small little um, rocky outcropping from the main main island. You see a few ships' cannons mounted on the sides. Um, you see the walls covered in um, a few uh, pirates. This isn't a very big area. And to be frank, I can just show you. Nice. Bada bing, bada boom. I'll just center it. There we are. You probably all saw that earlier when I switched over to it. That looks sick. Yeah, it looks mad. As you disembark the little dinghies onto this um, uh, makeshift fort, you see on the walls again just um, different different men and women and people of different races just looking down at you, armed, ready to see if any shenanigans happen. And for those watching at home, up in the top corner, lazing in what seems to be... Ooh, There we are. Perfect. That, that, that looks good there. I don't know why, but they all just look really slutty to me and it's a vibe. Oh, slutty pirates. <laughs> it's like that one that one thing. Um, is <laughs> a near uh, six foot tall mountain of a man, very wide shoulders, draped in um, makeshift uh, uh, leather and, uh, and big boots and gloves. His big black beard... Like mine, <laughs> uh, nice and long, <laughs> um, curled into points. His hair long, black, slick, uh, running down his, his back. His face weathered with scars and um, sunburn. As you uh, all, I'll just move you guys up. I'm on the wrong thing. I'm not on the DM screen. I'm on... <laughs> Ah, I'm an idiot. 
I'm trying to grab the, the players one that I've got up so everyone can see. As you guys make your way up into the main section in front of this guy, I'll just say you sort of move up around here. Captain Kale will obviously take the, the forefront. Let's make sure that looks good. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. Um, this, this guy he sits up in his chair and he looks down at you all and he's like... Captain Gale, I presume. I've heard about you. And he's like, ha, ha, uh, Monsieur Honegold, I am here to uh, accept your uh, offering of uh, 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 enrollments. And he eyes the rest of you up and he's like, and these people would be your crew. He's like, employers, actually. Uh, traders from uh, Mantle uh, looking to to uh, head to the colonies for trade and uh, whatnot. They were told to come along. Are you guys saying anything? This is guys. Uh, I'll just say, I'll say like, uh, you know, trade and the ability to explore the new world and new horizons and, uh, you know, expand things as a group. We just, you know, we needed a ship and Captain here was... Yeah, uh, the best and most highly regarded, and it seems our plans have merged. <laughs> Roll me a deception check. Oh, good. As he moves forward and looks um, down at you. J j j just quickly on the pause. Um, what are we from? What's our task again? Because we've been sent by the king, haven't His we? His head. Right. Pardon. His head. Kill him. Yeah. Ah, okay. What was his name? Horrigold? Horatio Hornigold. Um, Hornigold. Question 10. Ma Maggie, are you on the screen? Yeah, a lot of there. No? Okay. Oh, I thought you meant Discord and I'm like, yeah. No. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm vibing somewhere. Oh, right, where okay. am I? Next to Deadeye. No. I don't have a name. I'm not showing up on mine. No. Is and it? neither is Right uh, here. Yeah, no, there's there's nothing there for me. Did I just try and move, whatever you say? Um, the second. There's Lana, Barry. Oh, there you go. Yes. Now it's showing up. It was completely disappeared. Like, am I using invisibility? Uh, uh, the pirate king, well, he looks sorry, down. down he was hurry here, right? Sorry, Horn Horn sorry. Yeah, he looks sorry, down sorry. at you, Jedi, and he goes. You all seem pretty well armed for merchants. Oh, we didn't know what to expect coming out these ways. It saves our money too, if you can defend yourself. You don't need bodyguards. He's eyeing you up. But I also enjoy a steady income from trading. <laughs> I like this one and the rest of the pirates start laughing take it just I don't like being lied to I've seen your type before mercenaries we have a huddle yeah. it's, it's just gonna huddle as soon as he says that <laughs> is there like a is there like a kind of silence spell? <laughs> there there is. There is. There is. <laughs> but oh, that's open. He's like, <laughs> he, as you think, he's like, he's like, but he'd no mind. I'm always looking for more capable members to help us out. Tell you what, and he he jumps down from his little perch right in front of you all. I'm a man of honour, as my people here have said. And, yeah, he is quite tall. Like, um, like just, like, looking down on you, Yagner, in front of you. So, we do this the old-fashioned way to test your metal. One of you shows me what they got. You wouldn't have made it this far if you all weren't contrable and, and whatnot. We're gonna duel him. 
Yes. Yeah. Good question. <laughs> what? What'd you say? Yeah, yeah, Agnes steps forward. Well, it looks like we have a volunteer, mid. <laughs> this nice big orc fellow. You want to go, do you? You want to have a fight? You want to show me what you can do with those uh, those weapons, eh? You seem like a fun challenge. And he looks at the rest of you. He's like, just a uh, word to the wise. And they start turning those cannons inward. Any of you get involved? We'll sort you out, yeah. Um, Kyle? Yeah. Can I touch Yagnar on his shoulder? Yep. And be like, hey, man, you're going to crush it and cast guidance on him? Yeah, you can. Guidance works again, uh, like on ability checks, doesn't it? Oh, no, wait. Shit, what else can I do then? Do you have if she does ability? that, I'm going to look at Deadeye. Do I have oh, what, sorry, Jacob? He's also eyeing up the uh, eyeing up the owl bear that's just chilling. <laughs> oh, I'll um, go sit and it'll sit. But um, I'm maybe not guidance then. Sorry, I'm good. I want to give I want to give inspiration to two people okay. before I do it. I'm going to give it to Alana and Dead Eye and go. Mm-hmm. It's like you've guys got to. I trust you guys and. Yeah, just go. I trust you guys. That's it. <laughs> okay, I actually don't have anything to help. Sorry, I'm and, gonna take the back. And and because and because it's been so long since I've seen my dad and just that absolute radiating energy, um, yeah. I just I feel like I've got fatherly approval again, and <laughs> it's just making me think of my own time. So that's that's the bardic inspiration. It's just the dinner. yeah, it's dad it's inspiration. The, um, Remember that a little kid at like a like a sports game where your dad like is like good kick and you're like yeah. <laughs> That's the one. Like, yes, proud. You've got yep. this. This is like that powerful, like those few words. That's just right. If you're curious. giving them inspiration, can I give you inspiration? Okay. <laughs> Everyone gets it for free. Uh, I'm just going to tell you that. Uh, <laughs> what about virtue? If Kyle? you die, I'm going to take your tusk. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Sorry. Say it again. I would be honored. Taps a bit um, on the shoulder. What if I used virtue? Because I can use any cantrip. You can, you can okay, I'll do the same thing then, ignore <laughs> what I did before. Um, can you roll a d4? Yep. Okay, a two, two plus five. That's my spell casting thing. Sweet, so you get five temporary HP. Oh, hell yeah. I forgot I had that. It's overwhelming. Thank you. All right. Everyone's inspired each other. So. You get eight from me. All of you start to fan out around this middle section. Uh, everyone except Horatio and Yagna, who are getting forced up into this small platform in the middle of this thing. It's an old crow's nest that they've leveled out and made like a very intimate um, biting pit in the air. Um, you hear all the pirates starting to cheer and clap and a few more come up in, in the, bring the ships in around so they can see into this area as um, Yagna, you ready yourself and Horatio who is like this big barrel arms and, and tattoos all up and just the the utter like cliche of, of pirates is just standing there just like revving his men up and he pulls out a, a, a long rapier and stands at guard against you. He's like, bring it green man, roll initiative. Okay. Ooh. Had to, oh, wait, I'll clear that. I really don't know why my things aren't showing up. Head turn, Head turn, all right. So, I got a nat 20 on initiative. Oh. <laughs> That's fucked up, Kyle. That just means I go first. <laughs> yeah, but... He, 
He has a Betty wasted on initiative. Twenty-four for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> so straight up, like you ready yourself, you see him ready, and he just launches himself at you. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay, first things first. It seems to... Um, his weapon seems to just shimmer with, with an unknown energy for his bonus action. Mm -hmm. As he comes in to swipe you. Where are you? Is, he Is it a spell or magic effect? Spell. He casts a spell on his weapon. I have advantage against those spells. What do you have advantage on? I have advantage against spells and magical effects within 10 feet of me. No. Uh, <laughs> it, what's that, like saving throws? Um, I think so, yeah. Because this is going on to a weapon attack, so he's still got to hit you. So. Let me know if you need some saving throw booster, by the way. Uh, 21 to hit. Yeah, that hits. All right, you take... That's what I'm looking for. You take... So, 10 piercing damage as he stabs you through the chest. Mm -hmm. um, followed by... Um, where is it? Um, an extra... 5d10 force damage. Force damage is fucked. So I use That's it. a spell though, so do I get a... Four. Okay. No, no. Four. Okay. Eight. I roll really low. Eight. Oh, 16 force damage as this thing goes and just a blast. Um, Sorry, it was only 5 damage <laughs> No, it was good. It's a blast. Explosion. It's just how much HP do you have now? 72. 72? You good? All right. Mm -hmm. so he pulls that back. Is that? What yeah, I got eight from... Um, I'm going to do. I'm just going to... I'm going to try and attack. Yep. Go so, yeah, it. I'm going to attack. So 17. 17 to hit. Oh, yep. Yeah, hits him. Cool. So I'll roll my Holy Avenger. Yep. All right. So 15 damage. 15 damage. And then I'll roll and I'll attack again. Mother with a 25. 25 to hit. Yep. That hits. Yep. It just takes the hits. And then I'll roll again with my bonus action. So do my bonus action attack, mm -hmm. and just a dirty twenty. Did obviously you, hits. And uh, did you do damage on the second one? What was that? Yeah, yeah, that was um, fourteen on the yep. previous hit. Another fourteen damage. Mm -hmm. And yep. on this dirty twenty, I'm just going to nine damage. Another nine. He's, he's reeling mm. from just these massive hits from you. I'm going to go for a nat 20. <laughs> Imagine if you killed him straight up. That was the plan. <laughs> that was the entire plan. Yeah. Using Holy <laughs> Avenger, yeah. though, aren't you? I've got two-handed. Oh, Holy okay. Avenger in one hand and Vorb on the other. <laughs> okay. Probably don't kill, kill him. Like, give him a chance to submit or something. <laughs> all right. Um, I respect it. All right, from being hit too hard, you start to see um, a few of the crowd look a bit worried. Like, you hit him pretty hard. Okay. Um, Molazar, roll me an Arcana check. Sixteen. Something's up with him. Kyle, make it 21. 21? <laughs> 21. 
Oh, it's not plus 10. If it's 21, <laughs> 21. He, gets a, he gets a secret little message then. <laughs> Haven't heard that reference in a long time, Dan. Why, uh, while you're um, writing that, Kyle, I'm, I'm can I? Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, yeah, can I? Ha, can I be looking around? Because I'm assuming everyone's watching and going in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, go so, I'm, takes his head, yeah. I, um, I'm gonna like kind of still be watching, but stealthily going around and seeing if there's any further signs of involvement from the what you sent me in the message before of that particular group. Make a perception so, check. I just looked at your perception, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, where My passive. You? Yeah, you're passive. Um, you, 21. Can, <laughs> you can literally not ro roll any lower than that. You can just choose to use your passive perception. That's a thing you can do. They all do that? Yeah. Could I yep. use my passive perception and then add Flash of Genius to it? No. Just say if you roll really low, I'll, I'll allow that. But, like, I'll, I'll say that, like, you're just looking around right now just using your passive. Um, mm hmm yeah, a lot of them seem to be carrying themselves the same way. And then you start to see bits of the uniform. Mm hmm All right, Question. Her, yeah. Actually, never mind. You continue. Okay, yeah. don't worry. So at, at the top of each round, I'll let you guys do stuff with what you're starting to think. Because you're seeing this. This, this guy is moving fast. Um and Yagna, he, he's moving very nimbly um, for his size. Ooh. Um, he comes in and he doesn't, he realizes being close to you is a very bad idea. So he just disappears and reappears back up on his platform. Mm -hmm. And then three. That obviously didn't. Three beams of light explode from his. Um, from so he did misty step, obviously. Yep. I got a cleric spell, Kyle. And three, I think it's three. Is it holy light? Three, yeah. So um, first one, that is um, a sixteen to hit. Um, doesn't hit. Nice. Uh, another sixteen to hit misses. Um, a. Dirty 20 to hit you. Um, I think it'll roll again because I have advantage against spells coming with 10 feet of me. No, no, so only, only that, a... Oh, um, I'd, I'd, oh I was doing magical item. Okay, that's okay. That's no, 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 it's cool. not a magical item. I think that's more on saving throws. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is just a hit. Like, he's making magical specs. So three, mm -hmm. two of the beams go past and then one just slams into your chest. And you mm -hmm. take... 1d10 force. You take 6 force damage as this this spell. just It's a white beam of light that comes out of his hand, just slams you in the chest. Okay. That's his turn. What are you doing? Ooh. Let me see. Uh... See, I don't have that much range, do I? And how far is away from me now? One, uh, two, five, three, ten, four. fifteen, twenty, twenty feet. Twenty, twenty feet. Oh, I realized I had that. Oops. All right. All right. I'm gonna ask something. Yeah. If I start running and change into my werewolf form, could I? Can I jump and meet him on that platform? Oh fuck! I think you could. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's do that. Um, oh, I'm going to transform. On. Transform. <laughs> I will get that up. Yeah. Because I brought him over, so I'll make... Uh, I, I, I'll learn from my past mistakes, and I won't get rid of you. Mm. So I'll just... Then just bring that up, and bring your old one down the bottom here. There you go. I think you can move that one, Yagna. Yep. Yep. All right, so, so just, as I'm running towards him... Um, you just hear guys, and you see his face is strong. Like, yeah, what? well, I'm going to do... As I do it, I'm like, go, why are you running? And then just transform a bit yep. as I'm doing that sentence towards him. All right, so... I'm just... Yeah, well, I've got what? I Action. You have 40 feet of movement as a... Um, 
<laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm just going to leap just right at him. All right, yep. So, um, yeah, I'll just go about there. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and that's one of my actions. I'll just you, and then I'll just attack with go. my, um... Go for it. Yeah. 17. 17 hits. Cool. I'll just do the normal slashing damage. For the 13 damage. 13 damage. Okay, he takes 13. Yep. You've still got more oh, attacks. Do I? I used my bonus action to change and then I ran over. Yeah, you Was still that get two attacks. You still get two attacks. Oh. You still have five. Okay. Okay. You're just in werewolf. Mode, okay. So now you can use claws. Or use weapons. What are you doing? Look at a dirty 21. Dirty <laughs> so 21? Just, yeah. Um, All right, so, what are you doing? I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. Sure it's just attack. I can't. Like, I can't do much more as than that. You, so it's just... like as you scrape down, you see your claws dig in and thing, and you should come down for another attack. Um, yep. see his arm move up, and then it's like this. This ghost just appears in front of you, and the, you just see this woman with a with a like a long rapier, just like a ghostly figure, just parry your attack, then dissipate as you cast shield. Okay. All right, He's then. looking a bit worried. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, yeah, I've got nothing else I can do. <laughs> Just All stand right. over him very menacingly. Uh, anyone doing anything at the top of the round? Um. Yeah, I'm going to head over to Guy. Yeah. And I'm going to whisper, can you see... Anything suspicious with the guy Yagnus fighting? Uh, <laughs> make a perception I would imagine check I can. with advantage. Sorry, did I miss much? No, I've just gone over to Guy and I'm asking him if um, he can see anything. Okay. Weird with the guy that he's fighting. 17. 17. Yeah, you start to see it. Like, as Yagnar's, like, attacking him, where it would, like, draw blood on him, um, it's it's not. Like, he would cut into him, like he cut someone or, or rip their clothes. It's, yeah, nothing's really happening to him. He, he looks worried. He, he's being hit, but, yeah. I think he's using Spirit Shroud. I can't detect magic without wasting time. Although, Yagnar's not taking damage, so... He's not actually taking damage? The guy isn't. Yagnar is. No, the guy isn't. Yagnar is. Yeah. Hmm. Some sort of ghost... ghostly defense system. I just wonder if... They're all like that. Probably not. Surely what if they they wouldn't dead be the whole time. So, oh, I would have seen him, um, seen the guys go up there, and I also want to pop over and um, let them know that I've seen a lot of signs that these don't look like pirates. They look like they're um, members of the Violet Guard. Um, at the very least, very least, ex members. I'm going to say just a quick yeah. property because I've got Holy Avenger. If it's an undead or a fiend at all, it takes extra damage. Just, just to be sure. Straight up. All right. Anyone else doing anything? No. All right. Uh, no. No. All right. He, Horatio, he's looking at you and he's like, "Shit." Um. And he just puts his arm out. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. No, he, he won't be able to do that. Um, he pulls his arm back in. No, no. It's I the hokey pokey. Um, he pulls his arm out. <laughs> and um, now you can make your dexterity saving throw with advantage as these bursts of silver swords just pop out around him in like a whirlwind. I see a so circle make... of the spore druid. Oh, um, make that 13. 
Oh wait, what's the higher you, one? What did you get? I got two eights. Ah, uh, make it thirteen, Kyle. Thirteen. He still fails. Hold Damn up, it. one second. One second. Uh, <laughs> I think if I forget it, actually, there's not that one. I think I also have advantage on those ones. Sorry, guys. I totally <laughs> forgot what this is. Well, if you got your... What was it again? 13? Yeah. You have your bardic inspiration as well, you can use. I got prevent. I got no, I got proficiency in saving throws. Okay, so even though I had advantage, I can't roll three times, can I? No, no, two. Who's enough? So... Yeah, all right. Oh, and then I'll probably use. No, that's fine. No. As yeah, you take 10. Um... 10. What is it? Force damage? Yeah. Would yep, be ten, halved. Ten force. No, because you failed. You still. I oh, failed. Yep, yep. Boom. Ten force. Oh, because the werewolf form. Um, spectral blades sweep around you, around him in like a circle, just into you. As he stands okay. there, um, readying his weapon, he's like, "You're good. I don't know what this is, but you're good. You're very good." Okay. All right then. Your turn. He's like a posh English guy now. Yeah. All right. Yeah. He's doing that then. You I... his accent out of him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe he's Sounds just like... mysterious and it's his backup accent. Uh... <laughs> All right. Well, actually, is that a... You're starting to, uh, everyone else, you're starting to see these, these pirates on the wall start to look a bit worried, like. So um, I'm going to use Vicious Mockery yeah. against against him and make fun of the fact that he lost his accent. Oh, <laughs> oh okay, he's got accent. Oh, you're very good one. at the accent. Yeah, <laughs> disadvantage. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, that's a what saving throw? It has to be higher than a 14. Oh, Wisdom. What? Wisdom? Um, yeah. You had 10, as, as you said it. And what do you say? <laughs> I was like, I was like, <laughs> was like what's up with your... What is it? Oh, I'll try to figure out how to say it properly. It's going to be funny. Um, yeah. Like, um, now what's all this then? Looks like you lost your accent. Someone sounds like a little bitch in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Yeah, very, very different accent comes out of his mouth as he's starting to look flustered. Um, how much damage? Oh, play. Six psychic damage. Six psychic damage, yeah. And he, as he reels back from from the <laughs> vicious mockery. Um, d- doing anything else? Bonus action? Oh, I'll use dis- whispers. That's fine. Um, all right, I'll just use my normal attack now. Yep. Um, tr- 30, 20. And, uh, and this is dirty the, 20. The, the Vorpal battle axe, isn't it? <laughs> yep, eight. It, it and then like I've got slices one. down his chest to humor. <laughs> oh, and how much damage? Uh, eight damage. Eight damage. All right. And then I'll do my bonus action attack. Not that you need it. Oh, now, no, that would have been your bonus that. action, that one. Okay, so I've. Okay, that's fine. Yep, that's fine. fine. No, that's cool. Yep. All right. Um, yeah, he's starting to look a bit, bit scared, like very scared now. Um, all right. Top of the round. Everyone else, do you want to do something? Uh, yeah, I want to have a look around. Um, so, and just trying to have a look at the general um, th- like presentation of it. I want to check first and foremost if there's any food and drink around. Um, yeah, doing a quick quick glance, yeah, you see that um, the rations are all neatly spaced out in one spot. Um, the, the area is actually maintained very well, very clean. Um, yeah, this is. Do the, very, ration, do the rations look like they're used, like yeah, yeah, regularly, yeah, or regularly, they... yes? Um, yeah, and it, everything looks very, very well maintained and regimented here. Can I pull out my alchemy jug and start offering people beers? Um, as you're looking around, you see a lot of them reaching for their weapons, starting to look a bit scared, like, what, what's going on here? Ooh, 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 ooh. No, oh, no, it's just beer. Uh, no, no, 
as they're, as they're watching Owl. this fight, as there is now a werewolf just ripping into the pirate king. Well, you know, beer during sport. Um, I assume yeah, they're no. pretty... You're... Sorry, sorry. You go. Okay. Uh, I assume they're pretty distracted. Yep. Can I stealth? Sure thing. Roll stealth. Twelve. Twelve. Get advantage. When you have advantage yeah. for the clock of the bat. Yeah, do you get? Well. You would have advantage anyway because no one is paying heed to Guy. They're all now watching the fact that there's a fucking werewolf here beating the shit out of the king. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. You disappear. What do you want to do, Guy? As you. Um. Honestly, I kind of just want to move a bit yep. closer in case things go south. Yeah, yeah, move wherever like you want. Under here, I guess. Yep. Oh, I'll stay there. No. All right. Anyone else doing anything? Malazar? I'm just going to ask Deadeye, what do you mean, the Violet Guard? Who are they? Uh, so is it Lady Gallonwood, I believe. Yeah, it's the, um, the uh, like national army of um, Elantra. So she was there, really close to Black Moss Keep and everything um, in there. Yeah. So are you looks... the one that visited you? Like, yes. Early, early on in the days. Mm. Yeah, and um, I was supposed to kill. Like she tasked me with um, hunting down and killing Zardor to clear my name. Yeah, the Violet Guard. Um, uh, the name for the the entire army. So it wouldn't just be Fort Kane where Lady Gallanwood is. It it's the entire nation. So you saw them yeah. in Myrntil. You saw them um, as you're traveling through. Yeah. So that's I'm um, pointing out that these look like they're um, members of the Violet Guard more so than pirates, and something could be amiss here. Well, the captain's almost dead by the looks of it do we just step in surely this test isn't he'll all be killed it's a test uh, yeah we, we can we can step in definitely all right you that's should we now we'll wait another round <laughs> wait 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 one more round okay and then um all right we might we might like yell out like yeah no like chill <laughs> just say it. um oh, don't know how to go makes an attack against you twenty three to hit yeah it hits you take <laughs> uh eleven piercing damage as he um stabs in Is that half yes no. we halved as a werewolf oh. No. Okay. You're taking cool. the full brunt. Um, yep. He doesn't have her. And then as that hits you, mm -hmm. um, this weird silver energy comes out of his sword and around you, like just like chains around you. Um, Is it a spell? It's an effect. And you take an extra four damage now, as you feel like something is magical has come over you. Okay. And he looks at you and he's like, you can make fun of my voice all you like. I will beat you. All right. All right, your turn. My turn? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to cast... Um... Dissident whispers. Yeah. So um, just roll. I'll yeah, just make a a wisdom saving throw. Ooh, ooh that's high. That is uh, twenty four. A. Ah, uh, yeah. Does it? He still would so, take half damage, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, he would take half damage. Double checking. Um. Uh, on a save, takes half damage. Doesn't move away. Differ. A different creature would make six. Okay, sweet. So let's roll. So seven psychic damage. Seven psychic damage. Yeah. 
That's my first action. Oof. And now I'm going to attack. Yep. A 17. 17 to hit. Just hits him. Yep. 11 damage. Oh, yep. That's both my actions done. And now to swing with the bonus. Go for it. Oh, I had a 12. A 12? And you just... Yeah. No. So as he drops to one knee, he, he, he sounds injured. And as you go for uh, like a blow straight across the top of his head, yeah. um, your sword passes through here without touching mm. anything. Oh. Okay. Or your axe. Just... All right. Yeah. Uh, top of the round. Everyone, what would you like to do? That you see the crowd now looking very worried. Uh, should we, you know, yell out? I think. think yeah. The, the, I think the. Uh, I think any type of test has been proven, and then, I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll uh, make my way over. And I'm just gonna whistle and, and be like, "Yagna, <laughs> down, boy." <laughs> <laughs> you, you see my ears just pop up they like just do that little <laughs> <laughs> that, that, yeah, that, that works that works perfectly fine <laughs> yeah are you stopping uh, I'll just be like I'll hold my act, I'll hold like one of my weapons towards him and turn to him and go what's up you bad you're fine you've proved your worth <laughs> we don't need to fucking kill him <laughs> Yeah, let's let's just have a chat with him now. Yeah, you're I'm just gonna, he, uh, okay, okay. Until he, he hasn't yielded yet, let's keep going. No, no, he's, like, he's, <laughs> he's on a knee and he gets up and he's stumbling. The the pirate behind him grabs him and he's like, yield. "Sir, sir, sir, it's it's over. Just, your honor is still intact." So he's like, "No," he's, uh, and he drops on his butt just in front of you, breathing heavily. <laughs> Very well. He, he looks at the rest of you and he's like, uh, I was right, wasn't I? Mercenaries. You were sent here to kill me, weren't you? Does the, to be honest, does the, does the shape still hold or does it disappear now? It's it's flickering on him. Uh, I'm going to just, I'm going to, if I'm seeing it flickering, I'm like, lose the, lose the disguise. And he's, and the 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 man above him is like, sir, show them. Very well, and just a second. Oh. Ooh. Um, as the, the 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 frame of this big burly man fades away, taking his place. Oh, he disappeared. Taking his place is a young boy, no more than maybe 16 years old, um, very fine armour and robes, silver hair, um, now, beat up, like, claw marks, gash marks, um, blood coming out of his nose, just standing there, he's like, does, does this suffice? Should I do a soul and just get Barry to heal you both? Yeah. One second, one second, um, I have to check something. You know exactly who this is. Probably Question. I only What's that? I only passed by lycanopathy or my, my werewolf disease via bites, correct? Bites, yes. Yep. Sweet. Yeah, um is he like the king's son? Or yeah, well technically that would be the king. Standing before you is the young um Tandrin Elantra. Crown Prince oh, shit. of, uh, okay. of um, yeah. Elantra and Myrtle. Um, okay, all good. Up. Just standing there. Um, so, if someone says it, because I've got my, my, my sword probably next to his head. So, like, on his neck. Yeah, I'm going to that's the king, don't do it. And then I'm going to get back, Barry, and I'm going to get him to cast Prayer of Healing on both Yagna and Kiddo. Yep. Um, which isn't tons. Let me just roll it manually. Sorry, I've got the thing up here. Uh, uh, yeah. UGH plus your spell casting modifier. What the fuck's my spell casting? Um, they both heal for 12. 12? 
12 points of healing to both of them. He, he, you see a few of his scars heal, and he, and he gets up into his feet, and he's like, yeah. Um, yes, indeed. I am a Prince Tangent Alantra, a rightful heir to the throne of the kingdom of Alantra. Uh, I'm sorry for any deception. Um, the head you would be taking back would be mine. That's fucked up. I'm not committing regicide, Patrick. Wait, is it still infanticide I'm, if they burn? I'm still glad I didn't roll a nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> that would end yeah, everything. Like, I reckon with, with that little, little tidbit, we'll end this episode here. We'll finish Ooh. up with that one. We'll be back in a week for us five minutes again. And we'll continue on with this nice little reveal that I've been ha had in the works for a while. So thanks for watching. See you again soon. All right, break time.